the remembrance of death is here. Let's face it, you're, you're under danger of uh, losing your life, you're under danger. So that kind of reminds you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reminds you of the cause, reminds you of uh, your main thing, and that is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and He reward you with shahada. I've arrived today at uh, South Halab. Uh, the reason why I chose this area in particular because of the need here and because of uh, the strategicness of this point um, and the strategicness of this area. I'm not going to give you a specific of where this area is exactly. And like I said before, Yali, uh, a mujahid should always look and find where he can be most helpful and you know military is about strategy and tactics so you try and uh, put your effort wherever is most helpful so that's the motive of why I chose this place uh, so this is the scenery here or the setting here is like a typical uh, the bath point in these areas sometimes uh, you have to stay the whole night here you know be alerted because the enemy is about two kilometers away uh, sometimes less and they can be on the move anytime so you have to be alerted um, another point I'd like to make you know some people find it strange or they probably wonder like how does someone take on the rain or the the cold in the winter or the the burning sun well to be honest a mujahid if your intentions right to me any what, what i feel is that you enjoy that that hardship because because of the reward that you're going to get and because of the whole motive behind it and he, it's almost like you're, you're, you're laughing because you know that you're doing this for Allah's cause I'm planning to stay here for about three nights along with the days and inshallah and I feel like dua is answered in the riba point so this is one thing that motivates me to come to Ribat as well. You meet new faces here and you, in your, some free time that you have, uh, you get to socialize with these new faces that you see and you get to know them and you build a stronger uh, brotherhood, you know, you already have that strong bond of, of Islam and then that it's even stronger that you're in jihad together. And you know, when you get to know them, it even becomes uh, stronger. And that's very important when you're fighting side to side. Uh, because yeah, and when you fight with people that you, you care for and they care for you, you, know, you, you tend to uh, uh, fight harder, so to say. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know, lo loves those that fight alongside as if they are uh, a, a built strong building together. I'd like to direct this as a message to probably all the able Muslims to do uh, to go ma'arakah and to do ribat. Uh, you can be distracted and busy with other things and you can make that in the benefit of Islam but if, if it doesn't take up all your life or all of your time for me personally I feel that I need to be, you know, regular with fights or front lines and ribad because I see it as like a, a cleansiness for me and it livens my soul again. Uh, you know, it reminds me of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, it's a way for me to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because if you get busy with your life, it, it could tend to uh, keep you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or distant you bit by bit whereas jihad is 
uh, one of the loved actions of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, one of the most loved actions by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So it brings you closer, and the remembrance of death, because here, you know, let's face it, you you're under danger of uh, losing your life. You're under danger. So that kind of reminds you of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Reminds you of the cause. Reminds you of uh, your main thing, and that is to please Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and He reward you with shahada.